Hi everyone, Hermano here, and welcome to the channel. On October 29th, Fedora released version 31 of their Linux desktop distribution. And in this video, I want to show you how to install it on VirtualBox with VirtualBox guest additions. So let's get started. First things first, let's download the ISO. So I'm going to pull up getfedora.org here. Click on download now on workstation and choose the ISO since I need the ISO as I will install this on VirtualBox. So I don't need to download this as I've done this already. So I can now switch to VirtualBox and I'm going to minimize this window. So let's start installing the virtual machine. I'm going to click on new, give it a name. I'll call it Fedora 31. I'll bump up the memory size to four gigs and create the drive. I'm going to give it 32 gigs and click create. Now, still a few settings I want to tweak here. I'm going to click on settings, go to system processor and bump this up to two. Display, I'm going to give this the max memory with 3D acceleration. And under storage, I'm going to click on the empty IDE controller and select the ISO, which I already downloaded. And that's it. And I click OK and start. So here I can choose to test the media or start the Fedora Live installation. So I'm going to click the first one. And there we go. So first thing, I will click on Install to Hard Drive. And I'm going to select English and click Continue. So then I'm going to select the keyboard here as I have a Swiss keyboard. Otherwise, I'll type in wrong stuff. And there you go. I'll delete the English one. I don't need this one. And for the installation, for the sake of this video, I'll just click on Done to accept the default configuration. And now I'll begin the installation. So it's going to take a while to install everything, so I'll be back when it's done. So Fedora is installed, so let's click on Finish Installation. And I'll make sure first that I remove the installation media and click Finish. I'll now restart the machine. And there you go. So let's go through the small setup here. I'll just let the defaults here and I click Next. I'm not going to connect any online accounts, so I'll skip this. Now create an account. So I'll put in my name. And the username I want is this one. Then the password. And click Next and start using Fedora. So there you go. I'm going to click this window and now we are ready to install the guest additions. But before we do that, let's update the packages. So I'll call up the terminal here and enter the command sudo dnf update. Put in my password. You type yes to accept the packages. There you go. So before I restart the machine in order to make the packages available, I will install still some packages that I will need to install the guest additions. So those packages are install kernel devil kernel headers, gcc, make, and perl. And then I'll hit enter. And 
and yes, I'll accept the changes. And there you go. Now the last thing I want to do, I want to remove the guest editions which are already installed in Fedora as they offer an older version. So I'm going to do that by typing in dnf remove virtualbox and the asterisk. So I'm going to find the package and that's the one I want to remove. So I'm going to click yes. There you go. And now I'm going to reboot the machine. Gonna log in. And there you go. First thing then I'll insert the guest edition CD image. And I wanna do this from the terminal. So I'm just gonna open up the file manager here, go to the guest editions locations, right click and open in terminal, and then type in sudo sh vbox linux additions.run give my password and wait for the installation to finish so now the guest additions are installed so i'm just going to type in reboot and i'm going to log in again Now let's make sure if you click on the view menu here, as you can see, auto resize guest display is now active. That means if I hit on my keyboard control F, I'm gonna go full screen and I am done. Now I have a 4K monitor here, so everything looks very small. So I'm gonna right click on the desktop and click on display settings. And I wanna change this to 200% and then I click apply and keep changes. And as you can see, we have a small problem here. I have a blank background. So let me go back to 100%. And the background is there. So I tested this also with the VirtualBox SVGA adapter and it's the same thing. The only things which seems to work is disabling 3D acceleration in the settings. There might be probably a bug in some of the packages or some of the drivers which has not been solved yet. I didn't have this problem with Fedora 30. This is new in Fedora 31 for me. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tip. And if you want to see more, make sure you like this video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover in Linux, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.